Today's obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansful Funeral Home. Memorial services for Sonia Faye Walker, age 79, of Vinemont, are incomplete and will be announced later by Cullman Funeral Home. Funeral services for Larry Jack McNabb, age 57, of Cullman, will be at 11 a.m. tomorrow at Center Hill Baptist Church. Brother Stanley Kilgore officiating burial in the church cemetery. He will lie in state from 10 to 11 a.m. at the church. Moss Service is directing. Funeral services for Miriam Williams Bishop, age 51 of Vinemont, are tomorrow, or actually today, at St. Paul's Lutheran Church. John Busman will officiate burial in Enon Cemetery. Cullman Heritage Funeral Home is assisting. Visitation will be 10 to 11 a.m. this morning at the church. Funeral services for Glenn Douglas Thomas, age 75, of Vinemont, will be today at Corinth West Methodist Church. The Reverend Dudley Brock officiating burial in Corinth Cemetery. Mr. Thomas will lie in state at the church from noon until 1 p.m. Funeral services for Dorothy Weathersby, age 90, of Cullman, will be at 11 a.m. this morning at Welty Cumberland Presbyterian Church. The Reverend James Payton and Hewlin Murphy will officiate burial in the church cemetery. Ms. Weathersby will lie in state at the church from 10 to 11 a.m. this morning. A funeral mass for Sister Mary Stella Williams, age 84, of Cullman, will be at 3 p.m. today at Sacred Heart Monastery Chapel. Abbot Cletus will be officiating. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansful Funeral Home. presents today on two right here in Coleman Alabama welcome back to the show everyone here we are again it is T minus 30 degrees outside <laughs> that's what it feels like it, is, it feels like it if it's not because I, I dug out my my winter coat yesterday and oh, it's official it's, it's official <laughs> it better not get hot so help okay. me yes I don't think there's much danger of that. Not next week, anyway. Yeah, I think it just it just gets cold. I mean, overnight lows are looking like they're going to be like 20 degrees for mm -hmm. the next like week, Ugh. and it's supposed to Ooh. it's supposed to rain. Um, I think Sunday or Monday of next mm -hmm. week, and if that doesn't bring in um, some warmer weather, it's supposed to actually like snow. In, so, in November, how crazy is that? In November, yeah, we'll see. Right. Well, hey, let's go ahead and take let's a look, look at, at the weather. Yeah, brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Our November 14th almanac looks like this. The average high is going to be 66 degrees, with the record being set at 81 degrees in 1993. The average low, 37 degrees, with the record being set at 19 degrees in 1986. Feels a little bit like today. And here's a look at our southeast radar for you. Let's go ahead and take a look at the forecast. Today we have a high of 41 degrees, brisk high there. Tonight we have an overnight low of 25 degrees. Tomorrow a high of 51. Of course, no chance of rain for either today or tomorrow. Ooh, and then Sunday, Sunday, there is the rain. We have 48 as the high with a low of 39 degrees and 80% chance of rain. Into Monday, uh, a high of 42 and a low of 23 degrees with a 50% chance of rain. On into next week, looks like it might get, get a little bit Tuesday. warmer. Yeah, the low for Tuesday, Ooh. I mean, 20 degrees. I could set a record somewhere. It, it, it definitely <laughs> probably could. So it's going to get Ooh. cold and 
maybe that rain will bring in some Cold warmer weather. But uh, definitely have your jackets and your uh, umbrellas ready. And your boots and, and your, your scarves boots. and your gloves and your hat. Anything and things. everything, I would I would get it out and just be prepared for the worst. Yes. So, um, of course, let's we have a Facebook friend, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Facebook let's friend. Let's do. Our Facebook friend today is Kayla Williams, and she likes the Foo Fighters and CSI. Thanks so much, Kayla, for being our Facebook friend. And we are going to give you a certificate for a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Just come back here and pick up the certificate because we can't give you the sandwich itself. <laughs> but we can give you a certificate for it. Yes. We don't have barbecue sandwiches here. That would be Why great, Why don't we? Though. Maybe we should get some. <laughs> we, should, we should think about that. Jason. Let's do that. Let's Anyways. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, being in broadcasting, we like to keep tabs on other broadcasting things. So let's yes. take a look at our day in history let's because we have something really interesting. The British Broadcasting Company begins radio service in the United Kingdom in 1922 on this wow. day. Of course, the BBC has blossomed into a much bigger company with mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah. television programs, music programs, mm -hmm. award shows. Um, they uh, are the largest. Really? They're the largest broadcasting company in number wow. of employees. Wow. Yeah, so mm -hmm. they've they've got it going on over there. And what's interesting is that it's it's mainly funded. In Britain, they have a, uh, a tax kind of really? a television tax. So it's completely hmm. funded by this tax that they have over there in Britain. Wow. So yeah, I interesting. No the more you know. Yeah, it's 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 got a lot of good programming really, really on it. A lot of people keep up it. with it. But um mm -hmm. we have a great show lined up for everybody today. So tell us about our guest. Our guest is local musician Mick Bullen and he's gonna we're gonna interview him and he's gonna give us a performance later. So very exciting. Absolutely. He uh, performs at Berkeley Bob's at Open Mic Night and other places mm -hmm. around Coleman. So we're looking forward to talking to him. So stay tuned because we will be right back right after this. All right. Let's go. 50 Omaha said hi. Losing feeling in my toes. Nothing beats that new car smell. Chicken parm, you taste so good. Nationwide is on your side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I sell paintings of cats. I sell antique cameras. I sell mufflers. Surfboard stemware. I have no idea how to pack this. I need help. I need experts. It's fragile. Can you be trusted? The UPS store pack and ship guarantee. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it. So if anything happens to this, we'll take care of it. I love logistics. We pack it, we ship it, we guarantee it at the UPS store. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service and we're open on Saturdays. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Welcome back to the show. We are joined today by Mr. Mick Bolum. How are you doing, sir? Great. Great Fantastic. to be here. On this beautiful freezing day. <laughs> On this beautiful, beautiful freezing day. day. Yes, it is. <laughs> so uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. We know uh, just from, from talking a little bit before we, that you're a musician, but, but where did you start out? Well, I'm, I grew up in the Detroit area. Uh, about eight years old, I started taking saxophone and uh, that got me into music. We had eight kids in our family, and to keep us out of trouble, or my mother would make us all play an instrument. And it that works. way, we <laughs> kind of stayed busy. Growing up in the Detroit area, it's easy to get in, into sure. mischief up there. But uh, 
I guess I was 17. I picked up a guitar and I said, I'm going to be a rock hero. You know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? That's, yeah. uh, you know, I went and had influences. I saw the Beatles when I was young, the Monkees, all the Motown reviews. And all right. we all had that dream. So, uh, you know, I picked up a guitar and I goes out and says, you know, I want to be in a band. Hey, man, do you need a guitar player? And then as soon as I'd play, they'd say, no, thank you. Would you like, do you play another <laughs> instrument? <laughs> like anything so I ended up playing saxophones and jazz bands and jazz fusion groups in Detroit till I was okay. about 28. Um, and actually got out of music for a good while and came south. And, um, well, the reason why I got out of music, I got in a bad motorcycle wreck. The, first week I was down here oh, no. and took a windshield in the mouth of a motorcycle and shattered my teeth and jaw and that was the end of my saxophone playing so right. uh, I didn't want to get put on the shelf so I said I got to get back out there and grab a guitar and started writing songs. You know? Awesome, awesome. Yeah. So are you, so now is your, was your mother a musician or father a musician? How, are you a first generation, <coughs> y'all first generation kind of? Uh, my mom wanted to be a musician, but she had real bad tempo. <laughs> 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 but she'd sit at that organ and just, sure. and mm -hmm. we'd go, good mom. <laughs> that sounds but, great. I mean, yeah, I mean, we grew up with Motown playing, you know, I'm, the, I'm 60 and my I'm the second youngest out of eight, so I have all that influence from mm -hmm. Motown to jazz sure. to even the old, uh, you know, band, big bands, and uh, it was just drummed in, into us, you know, and, um, and it was just, and it was all, was it all self-taught? Did you take lessons, or? I took lessons on saxophone, and then uh, when I played in groups, I played alto, tenor, sup uh, soprano, and flute. I taught myself flute, and I teach myself instruments. I play drums and little keyboards and bass, you know, just grab them and learn. Once you learn one instrument, it's pretty easy to right. pick up another one. Do you have a one. favorite? Do you, do you gravitate more towards any type of instrument more over than others? Uh, you know, I just got my sax back, and I'm dealing with a lip issue where it swells up, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, First love. I can play. I can play the saxophone. Guitar. There's so many good guitar players that are just naturals. You know, when you're a natural, when you meet a person that's a natural at something, it it's uh, it puts you in your place. <laughs> but, you know. I agree. I agree yeah. with that. So growing up in in Detroit, you you were talking about. So uh, was it was it very evident that you were growing up? Like, were you in the bad part of town? Like, was no, that our city was exactly like Coleman I would say okay. it was when I came in 81 down here I said this reminds me of my city when I was growing up as a child mm -hmm. all the stores were owned by uh, families Uncles, yeah. uh, it was it was uh, the school system system was like the second best in Michigan I think so wow. it was all you know I had a great childhood uh, my dad passed when I was very young and I had uh, no father to bring me up, and my ma had to bring all us kids up. So, you know, she had a little battle on her hands, but we all right. tried to behave ourselves and right. take it easy. And the music on. helped, obviously. Yeah, well, yeah. she was smart enough to keep us. Hey, practice every day. You come in and practice. You know. Mm -hmm. So now you've had a you've had experience in all these different kinds of music, from Motown to jazz to big band. What? Tell us about your writing style. You're telling us you write songs. Well, I went to Berkeley, Bob's. Uh, a Marine friend of Bob's is in my church, and I was writing uh, praise and worship songs in church, just right. ba maybe a dozen, you know, d play them at church. And I love playing at church because everyone says, you did good, you know. <laughs> right. And uh, that's one thing good about church. And then uh, the uh, friend of Bob said, uh, Ryan, uh, Ronnie Maddox said, go up to Bob's. Berkeley Bob's. I said, I never heard of Berkeley Bob's. So mm -hmm. I went up there, grabbed my guitar, doing classic rock, very poorly. Sure. You know, nervous, like, <laughs> you know, can't breathe or anything. But um, after three, a little over three years, I, I kind of, Bob was a big influence too. He, he mm -hmm. did like, uh, I'd do a song called The Yankee Rebel Man, uh, which it was the first song I wrote, and he said, that's the best song you ever write, Mick. I said, well, am I supposed to quit right now? <laughs> you know. Hopefully not. So, so, but it's about uh, every day I 
been down here since 81, someone comes up to me and says, you're not from around here, are you? <laughs> So I said, I'm going to needle these guys back with this song called sure. The Yankee Rebel Man, So You Think I Ain't Country. <laughs> and uh, I'm just influenced from everybody. Jazz will come to me, and uh, I'll put jazz and then uh, watch other musicians and, and learn a little bit from everyone, you know. That's awesome. Yeah. So tell us about the songs you'll be playing today. Well, the first song uh, I'm going to play is called Coleman County Rain. It was influenced by a death. And uh, a friend of mine was sick at the aquatic center with cancer. And I thought, you know, when you lose somebody, that sticks with you. It's been a while since I've lost somebody. And uh, started thinking about how your life goes on and how you think of this person in your memories. And uh, Coleman County Rain is, is the uh, song that, kind of a love song. And I, it might be the first love song because I... Mm -hmm. You know, when I write music, it's like, how do you write a love song, you know? And every time I'd write a song, I'd put God in it because I was basically, uh, you know, uh, writing praise and worship songs. And I said, one day I'm going to write a song about a tree and a pond and a road. And it's hard to do, you know? Sure. Yeah. It's a little harder oh, than is. you think, you know? It is. Absolutely. So uh, have you been able to play anywhere other than Berkeley Balls in your church? <clears throat> yeah, I play around in South uh you know, over in Birmingham and, and places, but Bob is an unusual place to play because they pay attention to you. I'll play mm -hmm. like at the Rogue in Birmingham and, and places, and people like shoot pool, watch television, and talk, so right. they don't pay attention to you. And one time I was up there playing, and I said, you know what? I started singing the basketball scores that were in a big screen right there, and nobody noticed. You know, uh, I said, "Well, I'll show them." Uh, you know, mm. Boston one nineteen, Detroit ones, <laughs> and nobody. You know, no but when you play at Bob's, everyone's Everybody's fixated focused. on yeah. you and, and looking at you. So you're, you know, mm -hmm. it's a little nerve wracking, but you, you know, it's a good way to get your trade down. You know, mm -hmm. that's awesome. If you can play there, you can play just about anywhere. There you go. Really. There you go. Well. We are looking forward to hearing you, you play for us in just a second. Oh, so uh, everybody, don't go away because we are going to come back with our merchant ad segment right after this. On Your Own Home Furnishings is locally owned and operated by Dan Stevens. Offering bedroom furnishings, including mattresses and bedding, living room furnishings, including sofas, legs, and recliners, dinettes, appliances, and more. Not in stock? We'll order it. King mattresses starting at just $5.99, queen mattresses starting at $4.99, and adjustable beds with queen memory foam starting at $14.99. Great prices, brand names, cash or payments, free delivery, $20 for referrals. Located at 315 4th Street Southwest. Call 256-734-4545. We make it easy, you make it happen. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Welcome back to the show. This is the part of the show where we like to tell you about some of the local merchants in our area. Mm -hmm. So, and of course, that means we want to give some prizes away Let's to some it. lucky person. Let's take a look at those prizes. We have a choice of the, any of the three at the bottom of the screen from Bojangles of Coleman. We have two free cupcakes from Frostings. 
and we have a day pass for six to the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center. So keep your eyes and ears open because we'll be asking you a question about one of our merchants and uh, let's go ahead and get started. Mullins Body Shop, you've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and service and you can count on them today. Call Sunny Stacy, Beth or Jim, 256-734-1353. And Reese's Peanut Butter Cup is the blizzard of the month. It's, I mean, what more can you want? It's ice cream and it's peanut butter and it's chocolate and I really can't think of anything better than that. So life. go check it out at Dairy Queen. The Red Door Emporium, they are serving breakfast and lunch, artfully delicious. We'll save you a seat, and there are their times. They are located next to the Coleman Times downtown in Coleman, the Red Door Emporium. Earl's Body Shop was voted Best Automotive Repair in Coleman. They do large and small towing, and they do it local or long distance. They also offer 24-hour towing at Earl's Body Shop. Farmers Insurance Agent Tommy Warhurst is located next to Specialty Pharmacy. Call today for your free quote. You can call them at 256-338-3701 or visit thewarhurstagency.com. That's Tommy Warhurst. And BeFit is a fitness facility in downtown Coleman. It is located next to Renard's Gallery. It's $100 per month and that is month to month. You don't have to sign a contract and that membership includes a free personal trainer at BeFit. Chesley Oaks Golf Course is an 18-hole golf course facility, full practice facility, beautifully manicured bent greens, open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. seven days a week. That's Chesley Oaks Golf Course. And Steel Orchard is offering you the highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. And I know it's got cold, but I'm sure they've got some apples left and they offer you over 20 different varieties at Steel Orchard. Costa Cafe, they have specials every day, including tacos, fajitas, burritos, and more. They have a buffet Friday and Sunday located on Main Avenue in Coleman. That's Costa Cafe. There are day passes available at the Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center, and you can use those on the six-lane competition pool, the full fitness center, the rubber walking track, the indoor leisure pool, the cycling classes, the whirlpool spa. Just take advantage of those fitness opportunities. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue featuring the $15.99 or $14.99 family barbecue package. It is a pound of meat, two 16-ounce sides, and four buns located in the Berlin Quick Stop. And Frosting's Flavors of the Month are Payday, S'mores, Banana Walnut, and Caramel Pumpkin, and all of those sound just perfectly delicious. Too. They're located in the Market Plot Center next to the Carmack 10 Cinema. And those are our first round of merchant ads right yeah. here on Today on 2. Of course, the number is at the bottom of the screen because you're going to want to pick up that phone and answer this question, which is, where is the Red Door Emporium located? We just gave you that we ad just, just a few minutes ago. It's a new one, so... Give us a call at the 734-7399 while we take a look at Money Matters. And it's brought to you by Premier Bank. Hi, I'm Caitlin with Premier Bank and this is Ashley. Today, Ashley's going to tell us a little bit about our Christmas loan sale. We are currently running a Christmas loan sale. Stop by one of our 10 locations and fill out an application to see if you qualify. Certain restrictions do apply. If you have any questions, you can call us at 256-737-9900. Thanks and we hope to see you soon. All right, I think we have a caller, so let's find out who it is. Hey, can I ask who's calling? It's Luella. Hey, Ms. Luella, how are you? I'm all right, how are you? I am fantastic. Okay, the question is, where is the Red Door Emporium located? It's right by the Common Times, across from Methodist Church. There you go. There yes, ma'am. <laughs> awesome. Well, we have some great prizes to give you if you will hold on the line for just a second. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Ms. You. Luella. Yes, the Red Door Emporium, located next to the Coleman Times. We went and had breakfast there the other day. It's such a neat little place. It is, is a... I, I love it. It's, it, is it's a, it is a. It is very, like, not what you expect mm -hmm. something and to yeah, be in Coleman. Yeah, it's part, part boutique, part restaurant, part, part art, art gallery. gallery. There's so, so many something different Something for everyone. Go check it out. And because they have different food uh, than any of the other places in Coleman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, very unique. Very interesting place. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of our merchant ads right here on Today on 2. Cotton State Barns, you can buy or rent to own. No credit check, you're approved. Barns starting at $14.96. They also have carports, playsets, utility trailers, and storage buildings located on 278 West, just past I-65. And Jolly Time Rentals, they offer you licensed inflatable slides, water slides, obstacle courses, bounce slide combos, and concession equipment rentals. You can contact them at 256-620-JOLLY, that's 5655. 
Deb's Bookstore, your hometown bookstore just down the road. They also have gift certificates available for all your gift giving needs. Browsers are welcome. They also have great specials on books. Tires for Less offers Bridgestone and Firestone Tires. They are open Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can go see Greg and the guys on Highway 31. Pizza Hut has an all-you-can-eat lunch buffet, and they have a new featured pizza every day. It costs $6.49, and it's from 11 to 2 p.m. They also have a Sunday night buffet from 5 to 8 p.m. Go check them out. Grand Point Pharmacy is a pharmacy, but it's also a coffee shop and gift shop. And their new feature in their pharmacy is that kids can now choose the flavor of their medicines. That's at Grand Point Pharmacy. Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Old Whole Earth Store, they're a complete espresso bar. They also have live folk music at a lot of nights during the week, actually. They have one coming up on November the 14th. It's Debbie Bond and the Radi and Radiator Rick. They also have Open Mic Night, November 17th. Hair by Loretta. Miss Loretta is a color specialist and she offers hair care for the whole family. She does color, highlights, body wave, straightening, waxing, and spa pedicures. That is Hair by Loretta. And Mr. Hicks Menswear and Formal Wear, it's Coleman's only men's specialty store for suits and sport coats. They're located on Compass Way Southwest. That's Mr. Hicks Menswear. And those are our merchant ads right here on Today on 2. We hope you saw somebody that you've maybe never heard of mm -hmm. that we want you to go check out because these are some good businesses that deserve yeah. your support. So we will come back with our community billboards in just a second. So don't go away. There are moments in your life you want to remember forever. Preserve them in stone with the fine jewelry you'll find at Doug Doggett Jewelers in Coleman. Whether you're looking for the finest quality stones, designer jewelry, or a custom piece designed with your moment in mind, our knowledgeable and friendly staff can meet your needs. Selection, quality, expertise. You'll find all of this and more at Doug Doggett Jewelers. For your next unforgettable moment, come to Doug Doggett Jewelers in Coleman. As a local auto owner's independent agency, we are dedicated to assisting you in your time of need. We live and work right in your community, and we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Fortunately, emergencies don't happen every day, but when they do, we're here to personally see you through. For life, home, car, and business insurance, call us, your local independent auto owner's agent today. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sauteing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Community billboards are brought to you by Pepsi and <laughs> Coleman Jefferson Gaps. Then South So Southern, who's played the Seven Keys to Coleman, is going to be performing at Wallace State in the Borough Center. It's an original car comedy starring Tanya Miller. It's going to be taking place on Sunday. Tickets are only five dollars. Everybody go support Ben. He's a great guy. Spurs Ministries on Saturday, November fifteenth, at Mission Grove Baptist Church is having a special service. It's free of charge. It starts at 1 p.m. and Chance Hill will be wo working with a young, unbroken horse. The Sacred Heart Church Annual Spaghetti Dinner and Bazaar is Saturday, November 22nd in the Family Life Center. It's homemade spaghetti, slaw, bread, dessert, and drink included. It's $8 for adults and $4 for children. The evening is also going to feature the church's Knights of Columbus Annual Turkey Bazaar, and all proceeds will go to the upkeep of the church. A lot of bazaars at that church. Mm -hmm. And if you have a community billboard you'd like to share with us, just visit us on the web at channel2coleman.com. You can call us at 256-734-7399 or be our friend on Facebook at channel2coleman. And we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Jerry Lawson and Amanda Pettis Arnold. 
And tomorrow, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Megan McElroy. And on Sunday, we'd like to wish a happy birthday to Patrick Ward. And of course, those names are going to be put into the drawing to win the ice cream cake from Dairy Queen that is going to be taking place in just a second. And we'd like to wish a happy anniversary to Johnny and Effie Looney on Saturday and Scott and Bridget Arnold on Sunday. And of course, we're going to draw in just a few minutes for a $15 gift certificate from the Candle Garden that one of our anniversaries this week is going to receive. All right, and it's that time again. Let's go ahead and draw for the birthday. <sighs> All right. Lyle McClendon. There we go. Hello, Con Lyle. Congratulations. I'm going to get that Dairy Queen cake from us down here, and we're going to draw for the anniversary. It looks like it's going to be Johnny and Effie Looney. Yes. So come on down. Get that uh, tip. Uh, that gift certificate from the kindergarten. Yeah, the kindergarten gift certificate. So we uh, let's go ahead and take a one last look at the weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet. Make the switch to Mitch. Today we're going to have a high of 41 and tonight we're going to have a low of 25 degrees. Tomorrow we look like we're going to have a little bit warmer high of 51 degrees. No matter, it's still going to be cold. It's going to be cold. So get your jackets out and be prepared for some wintry weather. Um, it's been a great show, but now we're going to take a look at Mr. Mick Bolum and yes. he's going to perform some songs for us. So don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Finders Keepers is a unique and fun shopping experience. Lovely antiques, collectibles, or vintage items, we have what you're looking for at Finders Keepers in downtown Coleman. Furniture, repurposed items, and treasures from the past, they all make the store a fun place to shop. Fashion accessories and even original art are offered by local artisans. It's truly a unique shopping experience. Merry Christmas from us all at Finders Keepers. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Own Home Furnishings is locally owned and operated by Dan Stevens, offering bedroom furnishings including mattresses and bedding, living room furnishings including sofas, lugs, and recliners, dinettes, appliances, and more. Not in stock? We'll order it. King mattresses starting at just $5.99, queen mattresses starting at $4.99, and adjustable beds with queen memory foam starting at $14.99. Great prices, brand names, cash or payments, free delivery, $20 for referrals. Located at 315 4th Street Southwest. Call 256-734-4545. We make it easy, you make it happen. Today, I choose color, to see it, to feel it, to be in it, to be upon it, and to live a life surrounded by it. Today, I put on a fresh coat. Good morning. First song I'm going to do is called Coleman County Rain. I guess it's kind of a love song. Coleman County Rain. Just another day Driving in the pouring rain Looking for a bite to eat To dry my feet and pray Hey, hey Coleman County rain Feeling 
so alone Headed on my way back home To have a drink and try to sleep Waiting on a way Hey, hey Coleman County Rain I loved you so Now where did you go? I guess God had a plan I'll never understand The day that we met You were running through the pouring rain I was seeking shelter underneath the willow tree then your hand touched mine, burned me like a flame. Taste of your lips, smile on your face now. Where did you go? Why did you go away? Feeling empty now, I'll never be the same. Things that I'll miss Is a cup of coffee and a kiss And the sound of your silky slippers Sliding through the day Hey, hey Coleman County rain Things that I have Are memories of the past like a trickle of the rain upon my heart's pain as the scent on your pillow fades away <laughs> all right thank you thank you thank you I guess it's easy when you can do a song about Coleman in Coleman. <laughs> it was Alabama rain. I realized 10 million people got an Alabama rain song out, so Coleman County. This next song I'm going to do is because I'm a Yankee, and everyone always teased me. So I said, I'm going to tell you I'm a Yankee, but I'm really country, and I am country, and I am the Yankee Rebel Man. I'm a transplant Yankee in a southern town I've been around, a bit unsound I got a car hard jacket and a John Deere hat Sit on down, or to the fat I go to church twice a week The good Lord save my soul If it wasn't for that, I'd be on death row I'm Yankee Rebel Man, I'm Yankee Rebel Man, I'm Yankee Rebel Man, I'm Yankee Rebel Man. I drive a F-150 with no spare tire, crimson red, an elephant head. I got a picture of bear and neck on my wall, next to my dead mom and pa. I don't drink no more, I don't watch no soap. I hope I don't come too big of a dope I'm Yankee Rebel Man I'm Yankee Rebel Man I'm Yankee Rebel Man I'm Yankee Rebel Man I eat a country fried steak and black eyed peas A side dish of oakery I drink my cold sweet tea from a mason jar a hole in my britches where I play my guitar I got home interior all over the place I'm going back home to watch the race I'm Yankee Rebel Man I'm Yankee Rebel Man I'm Yankee Rebel Man I'm Yankee Rebel Man The dang old storm blew away my stuff I built it back in less than a month I help my friends and my neighbors and my church for free Cause that's what being southern means So you think I ain't country, you better step on down, boy We'll go out back and go round and round Cause I'm the Yankee Rebel Man Yankee Rebel Man 
Yankee Rebel Man. I'm the Yankee Rebel Man. I'm the Yankee Rebel Man. I hope when I die, I'm going to meet my maker. Open the gates. I'll see y'all later. Throw my body in a box. Throw my guitar inside. I'll sing my song for the man up high. I better shut the heck up. I done said enough. I'm going back home to watch Honey Boo Boo. I'm Yankee Rebel Man. I'm Yankee Rebel Man. I'm Yankee Rebel Man. I'm Yankee Rebel Man. So you still think I ain't country? I thank you, thank you.